This video will compare some of the most awaited phones of 2017 so we can see where smartphone innovation will be at in 2017. But unfortunately, we can't compare the Google Pixel 2 because that was, I wasn't able to find any leaks at all about that. So this will compare the iPhone 8, OnePlus 4, or maybe OnePlus 5, since 4 is an unlucky number in Asia, LG G6, Samsung Galaxy S8, and HCC 11. Now, unfortunately, when we start with the screen sizes, we're not knowing for sure. In fact, for the first four that I named, we have two screen sizes. What Apple is doing in 2017 is a bit confusing. It, they are supposedly releasing four iPhones, but they may release two, might release three. We're not sure about that. However, I will just say for the screen sizes, the regular and the plus model, if that does happen. So the regular will be four point, actually for the regular, we have three possibilities, 4.7, 5, or 5.1 inches. We're not sure which one. And for the plus it is 5.5 .5 or 5.8 inches. And then another possibility of that will be 5.8 inches, but only 5.2 inches of it will be usable. It's a bit complicated, I guess. The OnePlus 3, the OnePlus 5 may be going down from a 5.5 inch to a 5.3 inch, but it also may not. So we just have 5.3 or 5.5 for that one. The LG G6 may be doing the opposite going from a 5.3 to a 5.6 inch, or it may not. So we once again have 5.3 or 5.6 inches. Now the Samsung Galaxy S8 has the biggest difference between the two. It may be 5.5 inches or it may be 6.2 inches. That's a pretty big difference. The HCC 11, we have one number, thankfully for that one, and that's 5.5 inches. Now the the iPhone and Samsung will both have a bezel-less display, and HTC will have a dual-edge display, similar to what Samsung has currently. OnePlus and LG will have the regular bezels on a completely flat display, and the display technology will finally be OLED on the iPhone, as well as becoming OLED on the LG and staying OLED on the Samsung as it's always been. The HCC will stay with SLCD, however, OnePlus may actually be switching back from Super AMOLED to LCD. Not necessarily because they prefer LCD, but because of the supply problems with the OLED panels with the OnePlus C. The resolution of these screens, well, we actually have two different ones. 1440p for the iPhone, OnePlus, and HCC, although the regular iPhone may be only 1080p, and 4K for the LG and the Samsung. So the LG and Samsung will be the better phone for virtual reality, while the other phones will be just, well, still good for virtual reality, but not as good. The regular iPhone model may just be good in terms of um, regular usage, pretty much above 1080p. It doesn't make a difference in regular usage. So don't worry about 4K making a difference if you're not going to use VR. So the the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8, OnePlus 5, and Samsung Galaxy S8 will all use glass bodies. They will probably have an aluminum side to them too. However, LG will be using a glossy metal body, so they will look like the um, other two, but not actually be glass. They will be metal. And the HCC 11 will look different from all the other ones, keeping the same um, metal body, or maybe a slightly different metal body than it has now. All of these phones will actually have, come with dual cameras. Of the, I, the resolution will be different. The iPhone will have 12 megapixels, the S8 will have 12 megapixels on one camera and 13 megapixels on the other, and the HCC will have a 12 ultra pixel camera, although some other phones may have pixel sizes that are the same as ultra pixels. The OnePlus 5 will be going higher in resolution to 18 megapixels, and the LG G6 will be going even higher in resolution to 24 megapixels. The two dual cameras are for different things. The iPhone 8 is actually rumored to be getting 
to be getting 3D video and picture, which was a feature on some older phones, but they took it away because people didn't really use it. The OnePlus, whereas I guess OnePlus, Samsung, and HTC are going to use what at what many companies have used it for are using it for currently including apple and that is one is a regular lens and one is a telephoto lens lg will be doing uh, i guess the opposite they will be doing they will have a regular lens and a wide angle lens like they currently have the iphone will probably have a smaller battery than the other ones the hcc 11 will be getting a 3,700 milliamp hour battery, but that's smaller than its competitors. One plus th- five will be getting a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, and the Samsung and LG will be getting the same battery capacity, probably because Samsung will be using LG batteries for their new phone, which is 4,200 milliamp hours. However, the LG battery will be removable and none of the others will. The battery capacity doesn't directly relate to the battery life. For example, the 2,900 milliamp hour battery in the iPhone 7 Plus currently outlasts the 3,600 milliamp hour battery in the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So the iPhone 8 will come with the Apple A11 chip, whereas the other one will either come with the Snapdragon 830 or Snapdragon 835, at least in the US. In most other countries, the Samsung will come with an Exynos processor, which is faster, but the new Snapdragon will probably be 3.2 gigahertz octa The iPhone will have lower specs. I'd say probably around 2.6 gigahertz quad core, but we don't actually have a number leaked. The these will all be based on a 10 nanometer process, so they will be very energy efficient. The RAM again see the iPhone behind the other ones in specs, although iPhone usually has very good RAM management. So we will see if the if the software makes up for its lacking in specs for the um, battery processor and RAM. The RAM will probably be four, three or four gigabytes, whereas Sna- Samsung, HCC, and OnePlus will be getting eight gigabytes. Well, OnePlus may stick with six gigabytes, but they might get eight gigabytes. LG will actually be behind these other companies with only five gigabytes of RAM. Some some features that are going to be big in 2017 include wireless charging. While before wireless charging was considered a gimmick and really not that useful, and while well, the companies were removing it so that they could have metal bodies and thinner bodies since it wasn't that useful. Now we have wireless fast charging and most phones are switching to glass bodies. So wireless fast charging means that you can wirelessly charge your phone in 30 minutes. There is also wireless charging furniture such as desks that have it integrated entirely. So if you put your phone down on your desk it will just begin to charge. That with this new wireless fast charging, you could just put your phone down on your desk for three minutes and then be able to use it for another 42 minutes. Phones that are rumored to include this are the iPhone 8, LG G6, and Samsung Galaxy S8. The iPhone 8 may actually come with long distance wireless charging, which means that you could just wirelessly charge your phone by entering your room. While unlikely, phones with foldable displays may come out in 2017. Samsung and Apple may be working on this, and they may be releasing phones in 2017 that have them. However, Samsung might not be putting it in the Galaxy S8, and they were originally rumored to be putting this in the new Galaxy X. Another big thing is, of course, dual cameras. As you could see, all of these new phones have dual cameras, so dual cameras will probably be a big new feature of 2017.